Ding, <laughs> ding. <laughs> hey, movie nerds, I'm Scott. And I'm Ryan. And we just checked out Creed 2. <laughs> it's uh, the return of everyone you love from the fourth Rocky film. That's right. This is almost a remake of Rocky 4, but we've got Creed versus Drago all over again. It's very epic. It's really not far from a remake of Rocky 4, it's but we're going to tell you all about it right after this. So Creed 2 picks up right after Creed 1, funnily enough. Yeah. It sees the return of Adonis Creed, played by Michael B. Jordan. And he's kind of taking on the mantle and trying to follow in his father's footsteps to become the world boxing heavyweight champion. Of the world? I think that's it. <laughs> We're real sports nerds here. <laughs> Love sports. <laughs> we don't care, who knows. Uh, but, you know, all of a sudden, Ivan Drago comes back with his Drago son, Victor Drago and sets up the rematch of rematches, the fights of fights, the Apollos of Apollos, the Creed of Creeds, the Balboas of Balboas. I can't go any further, but it's the rematch we've all been waiting for since Rocky IV this, stepped out of the this ring. This is very much a family affair, right? So the Dragos, well, Ivan Drago, he's trying to reclaim his glory that he lost to Rocky. Yeah. And Apollo's trying to beat the guy that sons killed his father, something like that. There's some family drama in there. Uh, and then poor Rocky, he's kind of literally on the sidelines for this as he's watching this, you know, what he fears could play out all over again yeah. with, uh, with Drago he's taking He's always reliving his life. Yeah, which yeah. is, and Stallone is wonderful in this. I would very happily watch him play Rocky till the end of days. Uh, I, I, I love him. And, and to me, that's the real draw of these films. Like, I don't mind Adonis Creed as a character. Michael B. Jordan, he carries the movie well, but... If you ask me, it's, it's all about Balboa. He doesn't have the same charisma, I no. think. I think when you watch Apollo Creed do his, I mean, Living in America thing in Rocky yeah, Four, yeah. but also his original one where he was playing George Washington coming out for yeah, the first yeah. Rocky, he had the style, he had the charisma, he had the crowd cheering for him, but uh, Apol Adonis Creed, for me, just doesn't have that same kind of charisma. I don't know if I actually love the character or if I'm really just coming to the theatre to watch another Rocky film. Yeah, and that's how I feel as well, because I think that uh, Adonis is like his father. He puts on the theatrics and he kind of thinks he's the big man on campus where I feel like Rocky is kind of that underdog, right? Yeah. And that's the story you want. And I really don't get the underdog feeling from Adonis no, Creed. No, I agree. He's, he's already proven himself. You know Correct. he's like yeah, a really yeah. good boxer. Yeah, and I think and I think bringing Drago into it was kind of a surprise for me because I thought, hang on, they're trying to do this new series, and yet, okay, it's cool that Rocky's on the side, but now they're bringing in Drago, who is that's a big, that's it, that's a big it. opponent. Mm. Um, so they're kind of milking that franchise again. But I think it's done fairly well. Um, they try and really give some weight to both Ivan and Victor as characters. They're not just like literally stereo type cookie cutter villains like Drago yeah. kind of was in Rocky IV. He's literally like machines getting pumped with steroids in that yeah, movie. 100%. He's literally a robot. Like, yeah, they've given like, him some backstory, yeah, which is nice. He, he can kind of act now. That kind of helps. <laughs> the son is, the son is, is very much like his father. He's very robotic. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, I will break you. You know, like that, that was like Rocky, but uh, kind of like no, no Drago. One can act in this franchise. <laughs> uh, Ooh. No, come on. No, Rocky's good, and like so he got an Academy Award nomination for the the first Creed, and I, I think he. I would love to see him actually win it for this. I don't think he will get nominated, but, but generally speaking, like it is, if you're a big Rocky IV fan, you'll probably get a big kick out of this. Like it's very much kind of continues that that specific film's kind of story, I guess, to some degree, and it really humanizes the Dragas specifically because, yeah, I think I think they do a really good job with that. I agree, I agree, and I, I enjoyed that they kept them Russian and not like yeah. American Russian. Where no they're... hearts on fire. No hearts on fire. No, uh, no Vince DiCola, Dicola, yeah. which is a big big kick in the nuts Most, for me yeah. he's my favorite composer out of all the rocky films that movie is just so much 80s rocky 4 and this film felt very much of the 2000s yeah this is very and much 18s, a, yeah, like, and it's funny because like in that time that whole russian usa kind of thing was huge and yeah, yeah. Of, and yeah okay right now that's probably not the best relations either but yeah russia didn't same. look that bad russia yeah, was not, like, i'm not hanging out in russia it's, it's not, all right it's not, it doesn't have that same patriotic kick i don't no, think I agree. so yeah i don't think it has that same you can oomph, change yeah. then i can change <laughs> the, we can all change i can't yeah, do it. i can do arnie the, i can't do there's uh, definitely no big speeches like that no, or anything no. like that at all uh yeah everything kind of feels underplayed especially or, and there are victories in this film and i won't go into who and why but they all feel very underplayed um, I can agree with that. But family is a big part of this movie, and Adonis and uh, his girlfriend. Or I feel like they they go through some big changes, and then Rocky has his own family issues, and obviously the Dragos have family stuff. So I think they do a good job with that. Um, but it's really not. I don't know. Rocky's not always about boxing, even though that is kind of the end of each of those films. Yeah. But this one I felt really played into those family dynamics quite well. Yeah. Uh, back to music. Going to fly now. 
it does come into play. Good Fly, is that the name of the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're right, you're right. It's cool. They yeah, had yeah. some cool riffs on that they classic did. They Rocky did. tune. I think they almost gave Apollo Creed his own kind of theme yeah, song yeah, through yeah. one of the uh, yeah. one of the montages. Yeah. If you like montages, this movie's got at least two of them, yeah, so that's pretty good. cool. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> um, but that, uh, again, now, this could be just me, but I'm not a big fan of, like, R&B style music yeah, me so that it didn't have the momentum I like with those Rocky movies it kind of felt like Rocky 5 yeah. in that kind of sense where without uh, the I mean, you could tell, yeah, you, the... can, you can tell the decades the Rocky films yeah. are made in Which like the 70s and the 80s is obvious the 90s has kind of got that feel with yeah. Rocky 5 this definitely has that R&B style feel of you know the pop hits that are coming out today and I don't like that kind of but, music yeah, so whatever but I also don't think that's a bad thing right because the series has obviously grown with that obviously, Rocky character yeah, yeah. and I like that they're not just like resting on the laurels with the old yeah, of stuff course. Yeah, so yeah, I sure. appreciate them trying to do something new I don't know 100% where they could go with this after no. that like I don't think like there's obviously highs and lows for all the characters and I don't really I, like, I, I, could, I don't know where they'd go but I, I would have said the same thing you know post Rocky 2 I honest. think, I think like, that's yeah. it isn't it because I mean with Rocky 3 that's when they started bringing in the you know Rocky taking you on a different per yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. eventually it kind of gets more to... cartoonish if you ask me yeah. after Rocky 2 but, yeah for um, sure but and so I, but also with the the kind of the look and feel they're going for these films. I don't know if they can do the same thing with the, the Creed franchise, no, I, I guess. Agree. Yeah. So, uh, Rocky, fucking hell. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, 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 so, Creed 2, what do you think overall? Pretty good. I, I, it's probably on par with the first Creed. Wherever that sits in your Rocky timeline of awesomeness of yep. films, it's probably going to sit in something similar. If you like the first Creed, I think you'll have a good time here. I didn't love it. I, I thought it was cool. I thought it was fun. Um, but again, I don't feel that Michael B. Jordan is as interesting of a character and as an exciting and has got as much charisma yeah. as the original two leads with Apollo Creed and, or Carl flaws. Weathers and uh, I agree with that yeah, yeah. I think he's kind of like he's a good fighter he doesn't seem like he's a, a dick most of the time yep. like but he also doesn't seem like he's an underdog by any means he kind of following his father's footsteps but that was fine as a like an antagonist and then kind of sidekick yep. for those Rocky films yep. but yeah as a lead I don't think you can get behind him as easily as you can get behind Rocky I agree so overall it's, it's worth, yeah, it's worth a shot. If you like these films, I think you'll have a good time. I think that's true. It, it doesn't doesn't do anything wrong by any means, no, but I, I also agree. don't think it's like super standout. Yeah. Uh, but if you enjoyed the first Creed, I think you'll have a good time here. So Creed 2, it's out in theaters now. Man, I guess until next time, we'll see you nerds at the movies. Bye, guys. <laughs>